Hi. This is the YouTube channel for Math Contest Go Go Go. What I want to do for this channel is to build a platform for math lovers in order to make them discuss about different kinds of math problems. I will update a video about challenging problems every day. If you would like, please subscribe below. Um, hi, today we are going to talk about another problem regarding the depth first search. So, the objective of this goal is to so we are given a problem. The problem is you are going to list out all the numbers that is made up of one, two, three, four, five, with no digit repetitive, with no digit of repetition during the during your print. For example, this and this is allowed while this is not allowed. So I'm going to actually show you how it will look like. Just wait, it is a bit stuck. Let's just show you what six will look like. Okay, I'm going to do a five. So this is all the numbers that print out through five. Now we are going to try a six. Six also will have a lot of numbers which is 6 factorial, it will have 720 different numbers in all. Look at this. The, co uh, the code will not work out well at... Oh, it also have the 7 digit. So, how are we going to achieve the goal through the depth first search? Well, you are going to start on the first integer. And you just proceed by the second integer, the third integer, the fourth integer, the fifth in number. I mean, the first fifth the digit, the first digit, the second digit, the third digit, the fourth digit, the fifth digit, the sixth digit, and so on. Now let's define what well, the depth first search. Well, it, there is how we get in the code through so depth first search which is by getting one. I mean, starting from the point one. Okay, so there is a scan which n represents a digit. For example, if you write five, then n is, then it is a total of five digit. If you write six, then it is a total of six digits. And you do a depth for search. Okay. Just remember this statement. It is very important. Okay. So we do a... So we, after we do that. So we are going to give them two static values, which is one is number and the other is book. The number is to store every digit that will appear here. And the book uh, serves as a fact to setting a booking mark. I mean, not that type of booking mark, just as I said in the last, uh, last, last film about um, making mark for what uh, you have done, for what you have checked throughout your code. So now it is the center of the code, which is DFS. Uh, it is actually different, so you add a static here. So in this case, we are first going to initialize I. So what's, now we are going to talk about what this represents. This is represent if it achieves at the right digit. So it means if you get to the digit of 6, 
Uh, so if step is equal to n plus one, because step is always one ahead of the digit. So if its step is at six, so which means uh, this number is done. So you are going to, so you can just proceed to the next number. In this case, if it reaches the six digit, seventh digit, it will just run to the next number directly. This is the first part. Now the second part is that it is a bit similar to a recursive function. So you are going to check every number to see whether it works or not. So if it's six, it's n. So you are going to check from one to two to three to four to five to six to seven to show how it actually, right? Why, I mean, to show whether it works out or not. So it is actually great. So after you do that, book will set to one. And DFS, uh, depth source search will become the next number immediately. And the book will be set into zero again. So in this way, it will check every tree, I mean, every uh, sub, sub thing in the code, and it will give you the final result. Um, just some several small problems. Um, in this case, uh, it is set as a maximum of 10 because 10 factorial is a high number, but we are still, we can try. Like what will happen if it reaches to the maximum of 10? Actually, we are able to expand it further. Ah, oh, sorry, invalid number constant. So we try it again. Okay. This time you are going to see. Ah, it, it is out of bounds. So since it is 10, we can do 9 at least. Just experience how good the code will be. So in this case, it will have print 3, 362880 time, which is 9 factorial. We are going to see its maximum. I mean, how it can do. How many it can actually do. So we also need to increase this to 11. Mm -hmm. It is actually great by 11. So in 11, you need to wait 10 times, 10 times more time. Time of 10 times more compared to 9. So in this case, I have calculated that we are going to, the entire code will be taken around 108 sentence. I mean, 108 seconds, which is approximately two digits, two minutes. So in this case, we are going to attend the number of maximum. So since in, I mean, in 10 digits, it will have around 108 seconds. And in 11, I'm just doing a bit approximate time. It will spend about 1000 seconds, which is around 16 minutes. And you can time 12. So which means if it reaches 12, you have to wait around 192 minutes. And if it gets to 13, gets to 14 times 15, after you get to six digits, you are going to wait for um, around a million minutes, which is a long time. So this is how, I mean, it will take a long time to uh, car operate this. Second problem, what if you don't start from one? As we know, one is starting as a starting point. So if you happen this time and you want to stop immediately, just click this. Perfect. Now we try again. 
So this time we are going to make a bit change. We do a two here. You can actually find. So it will just not operate the first one and it will start from operating the second number. Wait, this doing five times four times three times two. Yes, it is running the same time. It is, I think it is doing the same number. So we can try three. So if we do three, let's see what will happen. Um, uh, click run. What the heck? Oh yes, this is already working. So we do a five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve. We are able to find that for each type there is twelve possibility and we time five. So you can see that it is operating. So we can find that if it's at DFS1, so it is running by starting from the first digit. If it's at DFS2, it is running starting from the second digit. So in this case, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 is equal to 5 factorial. So, I mean, DF1 and DF2 will have the same value. And you can see at DFS3, it is going to be 5 times 4 times 3, which is going to be 60 possibilities. And it will show out in 5 that you there will be only 5 possibilities left. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5. Let's see. We enter 5. Just as I guess. So DFS is actually the starting point in this case. Problem 03. What if we... Let's try a, some way to make it a dead a, a, a for infinite loop. Uh, what if you create an infinite loop here? Let's do it. Let's start. Okay, so we are going to see the result. It is, we enter 5. Uh, it is that a repeated, keep repeating code, I mean. It will never, never get to the end. It will never reach the terminal. And if we try this, plus, plus, I'm going to do a plus. So you can actually see I changed uh, from plus one to plus two. So it's crossing digits. And we are going to try whether, what results we will B at the end. So we do a wrong. Uh, okay, I, I already run it. We do a five. Terminated with reason unknown. You just remember it will cause the result of terminated. So in this case, I think adding, you can only just search one by one digits. In this case, it is good. Lastly, what if we uh, discard the loop? I mean, we don't add to the next number. Is it quite interesting? I'm going to try. So what the consequences of it will be if you don't set this. Okay, again, nothing. So in this case, it just follow. What? What? What am I trying to do with the code? Okay, okay. Okay, so it works. So in this case, you just follow the, what the DFS, the regular rule of DFS or of the. In fact, problems, they have many solutions. And my solution is only a part of them. If you have more cha challenging solutions, please comment below. And don't forget, I will also post my problems there. 
See you tomorrow.